you know, uh, we went to a local record shop. And this record shop's pretty cool. You know, it's the one that you like to support because, well, it's music stores in general are just rare yeah. now. Everybody just downloads their shit, myself included, but that's because I'm poor. Otherwise, I would buy it. Just saying. Would you? Yeah, hell yeah, man. I like a good, uh, not a record. I'm a CD guy, you know. I was born in the 90s, damn it. I mean, in the 80s. So I'm a CD guy. You know, I, I kind of, I'm kind of stuck in that rut. You a CD guy? And then and the whole handling a fucking record thing freaks me the fuck out, dude. Why? I don't want to scratch it. I don't record, wanna, you know. A record is quite uh, resilient, actually. Uh, as long as you don't treat it like ass. I just, uh, I'm, you know, like I freak out about a fucking Blu-ray. Like, damn, man, I want this to have dust on it. You know? It is It is a terrible feeling when you put a record on and you accidentally slip the needle and it goes, and you're like, oh, uh, no. Yeah, that shit would freak the shit out of me. So I, if I freak out about a medium that's, you know, pretty good about scratch resistance for the most part. Imagine a fucking record. I'd be like, holy shit, I'm going to die right now. A heart attack. Yeah. The point is, you like to support them record-wise. Uh, uh, you know, I like... Well, I don't like their movie selection, but sometimes they got some good choices there because, you know, they're a, a buyer-reseller. So uh, we go to this little shop, and it's pretty cool, you know. Well, expensive as fuck, but pretty cool. Well, here's the thing. It's not expensive as hell. It's pretty expensive, dude. Nah, well, let me get to it. All right, hit it's me not expensive it. as hell. I want to hear this uh, fucking shit right here. Uh, you know, some stuff is expensive. Like, rap stuff is always going to be expensive. Metal, Metal stuff is always yes. going to be expensive. AK, the shit that sells. Yeah. Nobody wants John Mellencamp. Well, if you go in there for the Engelbert, Engelbert Humperdinck. Humperdinck. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> if you go in there for the Engelbert Humperdinck, they got you covered. No, you got a but, good deal uh, coming for you. You know, they have a lot of good deals. The problem is, because they do have a lot of good deals, you end up getting 10,000 things and getting anally reamed at the end when you go pay. I don't know, man. Like, say you wanted a Dwight Yoakam album, like a record. Oh, well, yeah, that's expensive. You're going to get fucked. Well, Dwight Yoakam is, is kind of a rare... Yeah, see, but this is, what you, this is what I'm saying. This is what you're not recognizing or refusing to recognize. <laughs> recognizing? It's, it's, it's that. If it's something you really literally fucking want, you're going to pay some fucking money for it, you know? You want a little ice cube, you're going to pay 25 bucks. You want a fucking, uh, for, God forbid you want a metal album, you're going in the 30 range, yeah, you know what I'm saying? 40s at times, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. That's not good. You want a little CCR, maybe you get a little deal. I got, but, all, I but, got a lot of them there. Yeah, but they got to be used. If you get a new CCR, you're fucked. Oh, yeah, you don't get a new CCR. You know what I'm saying? There. That's what I'm saying, man. It's not a great deal, but it's a good place to go and look and occasionally be like, damn, I wish I had money for that. Yeah. Case in point, we went this last time and, 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 I, and I saw this album that I used to have, Mexico and Mariachis, don't ask. It's a great album. But I'm not even going to explain why. But anyway, the point is, I was like, hell yeah, $18.99. God damn, man, it's CDs. Like People don't even like CDs anymore. Can I get a little fucking, like, 15 max? I mean, come on, bro. It's really, you're pushing it at 15. because it was new, dude. It doesn't fucking matter, man. You gotta go for them used. Reaming me in the B. <laughs> now, I will say that their, their movie game is, is, you know, it's it's all used movies, but uh, I like I like a little movie game. Five bucks, usually. Yeah. You know? Well, it's very, many, very rarely over the five buck. Too many DVDs, though. Too many DVDs. Their Blu-ray needs to step up. Yeah. Just saying. They do. Uh, you know, posters are insanely expensive. Yeah. I was like, oh, I could give me this Billie Eilish. Nope. fifteen ninety nine, baby, yeah. for a point. And it's not even laminated. Laminate that shit, yo. Remember that time I got you one? And then afterwards, I was like, damn. Yeah, well, it's this one right, right here. Right there. Uh, it's a special cameo appearance by the poster. It was a little bit of that. I asked. Appearance fee. It was a little bit of that. I asked, and now I feel kind of obligated to get it. You know? <laughs> yeah. I've been there and done that. Anyway, I mean it's a great poster, but it's, holy shit, dude! Yeah. Fifteen ninety nine. Now I got a great Lord poster there, and it was reduced to four ninety nine. Nobody was buying my Lord though. It's damn, they be hating. So I, yeah, I was kind of sad. Yeah. Damn, I got a good deal, but at the same time, hometown be hating. Yep. Anyway, so we're there at this fucking store. We're just ranting on this fucking store. Yeah. Uh, we're there at this fucking store, and this uh, guy's browsing next to us. And, oh. And then for some reason he goes. Yeah, and I'm not talking like he actually sucked. Nah, saliva into his, which already would be weird. Like, why would you do that? Super, Super loud. loud, yeah. But it was like a calculated slurp. 
Yes. And I was like, the fuck? So anyway, we wait like, well, we're, again, browsing all of us three. Me, you, and that fucking slurper. Yeah, being reamed because it was in the metal section. Yeah, and about every fucking, I don't know what, like two minutes or so? Yeah. The hell is this? Increasingly louder. Yeah, super, this store's pretty silent. Even though they play music, yeah. you can pretty much hear... You know, us rant at each other and very playing, offensively. They were playing some weird ass, like spaghetti western ass music. That was pretty great. It was I pretty rad. Dude. I was like, boom, ding, ding. Really ding. bopping to that yeah. weird Morricone esque yeah. shit. But anyway, uh, yeah, man. So the slurper keeps the slurper, and it's gotten to the point that he slurps so much that, like, even you became vocal about it. You're not very. You don't express yourself outwardly. You're not very outgoing in terms of communication mm. in public. Like a thing that happens. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it takes a lot for you to actually say something in public. But uh, this was... I guess it just got to you. I don't know. I know I, know I but like simultaneously, <laughs> we went, What is that? Yeah. <laughs> We're like on the other ends of the, the, yeah. the, the, of the store. store. Yeah. And uh, he, I mean, maybe he thought we were reacting to each other or and or to what we were looking at, because the slurps continued yeah. and every time, dude, he did like this little face too, like when oh yeah, it, saw that. it wasn't just the slurp; it was the face. Once we noticed, once the slurp attracted us to his entire, you know, person mm-hmm. and being, yeah, it was like a movement, like yeah. And then we're like, this is this a tick or what the fuck? Just commiserating among ourselves theorizing at why the fuck anyone go p.s he looked like nick kroll it's not like a good it, person to look like yeah not a good person to look like unless you like looking like rango and second gross <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it, so we never figured out this slurper no it wasn't even like a it was just like a, a isolated slurp yeah it was just a with with the, with a weird little yeah, head bomb. Like little... Anyway, we got so you he did it so much we got used to the slurp to it just become background noise. Yeah. Sadly, and uh, the, the long story short, we're gonna bring this all the way around. So it's gonna make sense right now. <laughs> uh, as uh, you were gonna go pay, <laughs> I'm you know lingering off to the side, you know looking at the posters, thinking, damn, these posters are expensive as shit. And really, I'm looking at the cheap ass posters because. They're always awful, and you're like, that's why they're cheap. Yeah. And nobody wants a fucking, you know, Spice World poster. Wow. Or a Fergie poster. Damn, and I no, had it's, one. it's not when she's hot. It's just like Fergie standing there uh, going, buy my new album. And you're like, no. no. Anyway, you know, bad yeah. posters. Joey Fatone? Seriously? Yeah, no, serious? It's not even one? worth fucking four ninety nine. It's worth like a cent. To no, Fatone it's, himself. Yeah, it's worth nothing. So anyway, I'm lingering around the shitty selection of posters, waiting for you to pay. And uh, again, the, the slurper has just become background noise at this time. You pay, and uh, as I'm heading towards you and you're heading towards me, I see this look of, like, shame mixed with disappointment. <laughs> and I'm thinking at first, when you first vocalize what, what your feelings are, that you're talking about the slurper because just as you were coming, I hear, and you go, damn, homie. And I thought at first, when I just first, that damn homie at first, I thought you were talking about the slurper. But your whole sentence after that was, I mean, your whole sentence, your whole reaction after that was, damn, homie. And then you come up to me and I'm like, what happened? And, I, and what did you say? One cheap. Yeah, one cheap. Uh, with an earshot of the fucking guy yeah. that just charged you, by the way, and uh, what you thought was gonna be like a, like a twenty something dollar yeah, purchase, like thirty bucks maybe tops. Uh, how much did it come out to? It's seventy dollars. Woo! <laughs> and I was kind of like, how? I only got like little four dollar movies and shit. <laughs> Turns uh, out I got ten thousand of them. Yeah, man. And it was kind of like not cheap is my point. I was kind of like, damn, this is a ruse. Yeah, that was great though, <laughs> seeing your. I don't know, like disappointment. I had done so well too. I kind of like yeah, yeah, not no. spent that much, and then I got to that freaking point. I got ass reamed. A disappointment. I wish I would have recorded that Damn, somehow. Homie. Damn, homie. What? It was like hurt. Yeah. Damn, homie. <laughs> that was great. One anyway, cheap. the store's pretty cool. 
That's it. We're not going to plug it because fuck that. Yeah. It's fucking expensive, man. They're making more money than us for took, damn sure. Took all of my money, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally made your money, they did. Yes. Anyway, uh, that's a fucking story we told. Yep. Pretty pointless, but, uh, you know, that's uh, kind of our specialty. Yeah. Anyway, hit like, share, subscribe, and notification buttons for more inanities from two fat lards coming straight at you through the power of the internet. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Bookie. Bookie.